Hi guys, Paula from Fairy Chic Emporium and this is our little pre-paint and a pint um, for this week. We are going to be painting on um, a denim jacket which I've picked up from Molly's Den. It looks almost brand new so that's pretty cool and what I've done is I've printed off my logo because I think advertising is one of the most important things to get your business noticed and my logo sums me up so what I've got to do first of all is paint a white circle on um, the back of the jacket where I've decided it's going to be now I'm going to be using um, acrylic paints and, and depending on you must make sure that you read the blurb at the back and it should say water resistant when dry and the cheaper little pots of like hobby paint they're not necessarily um, as certain not to wash off in the washing machine so I would recommend if you've got them using better quality like these um, acrylics you don't have to use fabric paint but obviously if you're rich and you want to go out and buy fabric paint you can but if you've got acrylic paint you can use it as long as it says water resistant on the back i've also purchased from amazon this is there's lots of different makes doesn't really matter on the break on the make it's called fabric medium liquitex and it's a liquid that you add um, to the acrylic paint um, before you paint it on and it makes the um, finished product nice and soft so that it doesn't go all hard and crusty which is obviously the plan so I've got myself a palette and I've got both my products and a paintbrush but all I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to hope that my pencil is just going to give me a rough outline of the circle because that's what I want on the back of my and I'm not putting the logo too high because I've obviously got quite long hair so I've got a bear in mind that I don't really want my hair covering it all up so I'm just drawing around my shape I'll fast forward this bit So I've quite successfully uh, managed to paint, let me just pull that down so you can see, the circle and the two little, the little bits that you see sticking out are the little bits that are sticking out on my um, logo. I did sort of place it on top and check it, the pencil was quite hard to see but I think all, all in it's, it's pretty good. I gave it a couple of coats and I hair dried it in between. Um, and it feels, yeah, it feels quite soft, it feels okay. Then what I've done is, on the back of my logo, I have scribbled with the softest pencil I could find. This is 4B, ideally I would have liked a 6B, but what I've done is I've scribbled on the back, and I've watched my daughter do this, and she scribbles sort of upright, but you get a better lead marking if you shade with it almost flat to the, to the paper. So you kind of use the, the side of the lead and I've done it quite thoroughly because I don't know how effectively this is going to work in terms of image transfer so I've got one shot at it really so I wanted to make sure it was really thoroughly covered so I'm going to put it in place and then with a biro because just because it's got a little bit more um, pointiness to it I'm going to trace over my shape and hope that the lead is going to transfer because obviously my logo of the fairy is quite complex and it would be quite easy to paint it out of proportion so at the very least I'm hoping that this transfer method will give me the proportion as a starting point to painting it 
Dat was zeer jouw weekend. gives me a really cool starting point to start painting her tomorrow. Right. Thanks for watching. Only you know this, guys. It's just for you. See you tomorrow.